This is going to take a couple minutes, and I ask you to bear with me, but a proud papa's got to say a few things about his son and his new daughter-in-law. The things I want to talk about are life's magic moments. February 20th, 1986 was a great, great, great day. And everyone gets excited about the birth of their children, especially the first, and so was I. But I'm here to tell you that the joy I felt that day exceeded all expectations. Looking through that window, seeing my son lay there on the bassinet, and just watching him, a thousand thoughts. You know, what kind of personality is he going to have? Uh, is he going to be right-handed, left-handed? Is he going to be tall? Is he going to be short? Who is he going to marry? Hi, everybody. My name is Kelly. I grew up with Addison. I've known him probably since like high school at least, maybe middle school. I am a firm believer in fate. I feel like everything happens for a reason. About four years ago, I sat down at a brunch for Junior League and struck up a conversation with a bright-eyed, dimply-faced girl <laughs> about muscles, and then the rest is history. And as I grew closer with Caroline, she was one of the best friends that I've ever come across. Um, and meeting all the other lovely women that she's gathered into her squad over the years. You can see um, by the quality of the women that um, are in this really privileged squad, what a wonderful person she is. Thank you. I love you too. Perfect, got it. All right. Thank you. I was also there with Logan that fateful night that they first met um, on a chilly October evening in New York City. Addison, I had convinced to come into the city because he told me to come into Hoboken to go out, and I said, hell no, I'm not crossing the bridge. So, <laughs> Addison came in, we went out for some margaritas and some burritos, and I dragged Caroline along with me, and one of the first things that I noticed about the relationship from that first night that they met was that they were always on the same page. Um, that first night, separately, Addison and Caroline came up to me and told me, well, Addison said, wow, who is that girl, Caroline, and what is her deal? Because she is smoking hot. <laughs> and Caroline came up to me later in the evening, all giddy, ah, he's so cute, what does Addison do? Is he single? <laughs> So Addison had come into the city again, and he hadn't seen Caroline for probably about six months after that first night that they had met. And he was asking, what's Caroline's deal? And I said, well, she's still one of my good friends, and she's still pretty awesome. And he said, well, you know, I would like to date her. And I said, well, then you, sh you should. <laughs> so he was like, great, give me your number. And I said, okay, I will. And so then I did. And then I texted Caroline. I was like, just a heads up. I gave some guy your number. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Immediately after their date, Caroline calls me. I had the best time, he's so great. While I'm on the phone with her, Addison's texting me. Oh my God, I had the best time ever. I can't wait to see Caroline again. Boom, shotgun engagement. Just like kidding, but still. And so I obviously told Caroline immediately <laughs> what he had said. Um, but it was such a blessing to have a front row seat. Um, as I watched a relationship unfold. And I remember when Caroline and Addison had started dating, she said to me, I was still single at the time, and she had said, you feel so lucky because you do feel like it's a needle in a haystack when you find that person that you just connect with on so many levels. And I was so happy for her that she had found her person and that Addison had found his person. And I love you guys so much, and I wish you nothing but happiness in the future and a lifetime of adventures, because as one of the girls had said earlier, when you're with Caroline, you will have nothing but fun in your life. Hi, I'm Wesley, and I'm Addison's younger, only favorite sister. So 
the way I've started to think about it in the last, the last several years is Chandler Addison and I, in addition to our parents, we're going to experience so many things together. Friends come and go, but we're going to experience marriages together, children together, um, hard times together. I'm blessed to have these two, but I'm so blessed to have a new, my only sister, maybe a future one, who knows. But um, <laughs> thank you so much. Addison, thank you for choosing an addition that we love, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with as well. Thank you. I will tell you that her entering our family is one of the biggest of God's magical moments that we have had. And what I will tell you about her, you know she's a beauty. Here's what I do know about her. She's a beauty. She's smart and she's confident. She will stand her ground. And you can see in that video, she can be sassy. And I'm here to tell you she's going to need that as well. In addition to that, Caroline is kind and loving. Fifteen girls, or actually the seventeen girls, go off to the Caribbean somewhere. They insisted that Wesley Ann enjo and join them. When Wesley Ann came back, Joe and I got her on the phone and said, tell us about it. And for the first 15 minutes, Wesley did not talk about the things they did, the places they went, the fun they had. She talked about Caroline's friends, how much they love her, and how much they made Wesley feel loved and welcome. That says a lot about that young lady. And I'll also tell you that there's something special about her. When she's in the room, the room's a little bit brighter. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's her smile, maybe it's a sparkle in her eye, maybe it's a kindness. I think it's all those things, and I think it's the genuineness that she has. And so tomorrow marks another one of God's magical moments. So I ask you to raise your glasses and salute the newlyweds for many, many, many more magical moments. Thank you, we love you. Cathedral Lane train. Oh my goodness. But, you know, they did it in the shop, of course. Mm -hmm. And then it, when you get home, everything seems more complicated. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And then the train comes over that. We got it this time. Yes. Okay. Carolyn <laughs> lived in New York for nine years. So it's the fashion capital of the world. So we went to New York to look for wedding gowns. And she couldn't find a gown that she liked. Just the, the aha moment didn't happen. She had fallen in love with a designer named Rosa Clara. There's one Rosa Clara shop in the entire United States in Miami. We found $49 airfare on Frontier.com. We flew to Miami and we went to Rosa Clara. Caroline didn't, ended up not liking the Rosa Clara. Wow. So while we were there, I said, we're here, let's find a salon, let's keep looking. We Googled, we found Ever After Miami, and it sounded so romantic. We called, we picked up a cancellation, we got an appointment. She found the dress over this. Hi. Oh, you guys all got your great clothes! Yay! Yay. Do you want to wear them today? Yeah. All right. We want to help you put them on. And it looks beautiful, though. You didn't have to Thank wear you. Them. And when I said red to the bride, like I didn't never plan to wear a red dress. Oh, it's ready. She said yes. So is she ready? She's getting ready. Okay. Keep me on the dress. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Thank you. My junior. Hi, it's me. Ah, yeah, it looks so beautiful. You can change in here, girls. Oh, we can? Okay. Yeah. Help Caroline right now. Have so you go and dress at home? Perfect. Look at these beauties. Caroline looks pretty good too, right? You guys like the dress? Yeah. That's a beautiful profile. Oh my god. Let me get a Unreal. Your hair, being like everything is on point. Thank you. Yes, it's everything I wanted. Yeah. Can I give you a hug and I yes, really touch you? Of course. Oh, you're a beautiful. Oh, 
to paint that mirror white. Caroline said, absolutely not. That is the mirror that she used all the years she was growing up in brown, and it had to stay in brown. So we did paint it. Along with this. Do you guys like the blusher? Is it too much? I didn't, I didn't know that. I love blushers. I thought it was going to be like a lot more like within. You'll not see nothing like the queen. I mean, I knew we were going to get engaged. I just didn't know. At that moment, you know, you had to shake off that nervous energy. So we started walking down the boardwalk, which is really special to me because my grandmother and I used to walk on the boardwalk and she used to say, you'll be holding hands with a boy soon. Like, you'll, you know, when I was little and she would say, one of these days you'll be walking down here with a boy. So that was really special. And then we'd turn around and there was this huge rainbow over. So I was like, oh, it's for my grandmother. You know, she sent it. So that was really sweet, special for me. And then. Right when I was going into Miami to get the dress, I found the dress and I walk out and there was a huge other rainbow. So I knew it was like, good choice. Yeah, Grand sent it to me, so that was very sweet. Is this the flower girl? All right, Cecilia. Flower girl, you're up, flower girl. And then this is what my dad said to my mom when he proposed from where the sun now stands. Dad, look. Didn't you say this when you proposed? Yes, matter of fact, I have it right in here. Where the sun now stands. Where the sun now stands. You like it? I do like it. I don't usually like it. I like that first. And um, this is from Mom's dress. Oh, well, is it really? Yeah. Isn't that cool? From where the sun now stands. Take no other forever. That's it. Take no other forever is the rest of the phrase. I had to paraphrase it for this post. Wow. Oh, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> it's a mullet dress. Mullet dress. Right, ready? Ready? Two, three. Woo! Oh, I got one for me! Oh my god, that was fun! It was fun. Okay, one, two, three! Woo! Oh, yeah. Get on your What's up, Jerry? What's up? You got a tie bow tie? Had a tie one? Yeah. No, that's why I bought a pre made one. We might need to go over to the mall real quick. What's the problem? You can't figure out how to do this. Oh, you too. Can you try it? I got the coupon. We'll figure it out. Your coupon. You already tried that. I was hoping that you could. Uh, What's your code here? Let me just have to try it. For y'all who don't know me, I'm Chandler, um, Addison's uh, brother. What I'm going to talk about is actually uh, Kim's from the bachelor party. So, <laughs> yeah. One individual, I walked through this individual under the bus, but he uh, raised his glass and he gave a cheer. He, uh, he said, I want to give Addison a toast. We all, we all love you and we're happy for you. Uh, we're excited to be part of your wedding and I can honestly say that if I hadn't met you today, I'd be a better person. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, you know, when Brett said that, <laughs> We all knew he was kidding. Uh, and I guess what I, what I want to say is that, you know, Addison being my older brother, he was always a great role model. He was always a, uh, a trailblazer, and he was always a great brother and a best friend. He set the bar high with Caroline, and I'm uh, just really happy for them, and I'm excited for the future for him. So cheers. I have always taken the job of being Caroline's big sister very seriously. I've always wanted the best for her, always. We had this uh, family tradition on Easter Sunday where uh, there was the Easter Bunny would come and leave a special golden egg and whoever found it was the winner of the day and had extra special chocolates inside and we have this really sweet old family movie where Caroline and I are walking and you kind of see me see the egg and then I lead Caroline to it and she finds the golden egg and it's the special chocolates because she always I, I want the best for my sweet baby sister and I remember when she started dating Addison and I used to say 
my sister is dating the best guy. And now, after today, I get to say, my brother-in-law is the best guy. So cheers. I'm so happy for you, baby sister. Love ya. Welcome to the humble little church of Caroline's youth. We welcome you to this beautiful cathedral today. I promised the groomsmen this would be brief. I promised Addison it would be shorter than the time it took the ladies to get down the, the main aisle. So. Addison and Caroline, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage. We, we have. have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. we will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Jesus Christ? We, we will. will. and take you, Caroline. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Caroline, take you, Addison. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Caroline, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Addison, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Addison Barden.
encouraging us. Think it's cool? Yeah. I'm so happy. Thank you. I just, you don't understand. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The dark liner. The dark liner. It's just so cool. Do you love it, Ma? I love it. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the moment you guys walked into the studio oh and you gosh. said dark liner, I was like, <laughs> it's every single thing. Is this thing your first one ever? I know. It's every oh single thing. Oh, the cake. Did you see the cake? I know. It's unbelievable. It's the it way it is. I'm stuck. trying to get the dusk colors. Oh, good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Can I have your attention, please? Flash weather report. Everything's fine. Anyway, for those who I haven't met yet, I'm uh, Caroline Borden's father. Over here. <laughs> settle down, settle down. I wanted to be the first one to use that moniker, and I, I succeeded. Anyway, Mrs. Weller and I, and Doug and Jill, would welcome you to uh, the wedding of uh, Caroline and Addison, and we appreciate you being here. We know some of you have come on quite a ways. Uh, and a special thanks to uh, my cousin Don and this uh, McClure family for allowing us to use this beautiful facility and for allowing us to uh, pitch our tent in their front lawn, on their front lawn. Anyway, I was asked to be brief, so I will. Uh, as we all know, the old man in, the, in any uh, family is always the last to get the uh, word when a major event occurs. And this was the case in our family when Caroline met uh, the man of her dreams, Addison. So when I finally was advised of this, I, I said, Caroline, what, uh, what uh, actually attracted you so much to Addison? She said, well, he uh, was a former Eagle Scout. I and I said, well, I never made it past Weeblow, so I was pretty impressed. And, and she added, and he knew all there is to know about bugs. And I thought, well, that's being something of a bug man myself. I was, I was doubly impressed. Anyway, uh, uh, a uh, toast to uh, Addison and Caroline. Um, uh, well, raise your glasses there. Why we that? Yeah, raise your glasses. Well, uh, all the best to Caroline and Addison, and may all their troubles, that, or any troubles that come their way, be less than they can handle. Um, and could God grant them uh, peace, health, and happiness through all their years, from where the sun now stands forever. <laughs> Thank you. When life leaves you high and dry, I'll be at your door tonight. If you need help, if you need help, I'll shut down the city lights. I'll lie, cheat, I'll beg and bribe to make you well, to make you well. When enemies are at your door, I'll carry you away from more If you need help, if you need help Your hope dangling by a string I'll share in your suffering to make you well To make you well Give me reasons to believe That you would do the same for me And I would do it for you You're gone, gone, gone When you fall like a statue I'm gonna be there to catch you Put you on your feet You on your feet And if your well is empty Not a thing will prevent me Tell me what you need What do you need I surrender honestly Do it for you, for you. Baby, I'm not moving on. I'll love you long after you're gone. For you, for you. You will never sleep alone. I'll love you long after you're gone. And long after you're gone, gone, gone. You're my backbone. You're my cornerstone. You're my crutch when my legs stop moving. 
You're my head star, you're my rugged heart, you're the pulse that I've always needed. Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating. Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating. Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating. Like a drum, my heart never stops beating for you. Thank <laughs> you.